So what is going on guys? Uh, doing a truck vlog today because I'm not riding a motorcycle. I uh, need to make a few stops today on the way to work and I didn't feel like getting off the bike and taking off the helmet and all that good stuff and going into stores. It's just a little bit of annoyance on my part. Um, so yeah, basically I was riding home yesterday and uh, I, I don't know if I'll upload that clip or not, but um, you can clearly see um, I have my reading glasses dangling on my shirt right here. <laughs> Funny enough that they, you can see them floating up and then sliding off and then they bounced off my leg. And I remember something hitting my leg because I look, you can see me in a video looking down because I thought it was, uh, I thought it was one of the straps from my tank bag tapping me on the leg. So. Anyway, I gotta, I normally keep a bunch of pairs of those things laying around, but uh, I bought a, a cheap, like a five pack or a three pack of them things not too long ago and they don't last very long. So, um, yep, that was that was the last pair that I had that were any worth, worth wearing around. So I gotta stop and get some new readers. Yay, yay getting old, right? I'm telling you guys, once you turn 40, you're gonna start getting some reading glasses because your arms just aren't gonna be long enough anymore. Hey guys, I gotta throw this clip in somewhere. Um, I forgot to mention this <clears throat> on the way in this morning when I recorded the rest of this video. But uh, a little bit of a channel update is um, I, uh, I haven't neglected ham radio a lot, uh, but I have not put up any videos on the subject in a while. But uh, part of the reason is because it's really hot and um, it's just too much to get outside and send that stuff out in the heat. I don't enjoy it in the heat, so I'm not going to do it in the heat. Um, and secondly, um, I just checked and my subscriber count is up to, uh, as I left the work today, I checked it. It's at 486 subscribers. And I cannot begin to explain how ecstatic I am with that. That just amazes me that I have that many subscribers. So. I just want to say thanks to everybody for subscribing to my channel and uh, watching my videos and suffering through me flapping my jibs on the motorcycle talking about nothing at all. So I really do appreciate each and everybody that comments, watches, subscribes to the whole nine yards. And I can't thank you all enough. And with that, let's get back to the video. So a couple of things I want to do today is talk about uh, a couple of shout outs. And uh, there's two channels, new channels that I've recently started watching. Uh, one of them is Truck Man on Fire. He's uh, up in a great white north somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. I think he's over on the west side of Canada. Might even be British Columbia. I don't know. Forgive me for not knowing. Uh, but he's got a KLR and um, he's been out on some pretty badass roads out that way riding it around and enjoying it. So um, check him out. Uh, I'll put links to his channel in the description. You know, go give him a look if it's uh, his content is something you think you enjoy. Well, you know, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. The choice is always up to you. Uh, another thing, another channel that I want to give a shout out to is um, Rob Rides Carolina. Uh, he's uh, also a KLR 650 owner and um, lives in North Carolina. And uh, he's got, I think the oldest video he has was probably a couple or three weeks ago. Um, I've watched most of his videos. Uh, he's got a couple of interesting ones where he, uh, one of them, he replaced the uh, the fork springs on the KLR, and uh, he made it look really, really easy. I mean, if if, if you want to imagine somebody showing you how to change a fuse in a in a in a fuse box, um, that's how easy he made that look on that video. And um, so, go give him a check out watch their channels watch a few of their videos if their content is something you enjoy you know hey man give them a subscribe you know we're a small community we try to help each other out and uh, uh, they seem like pretty good guys uh, now I don't know about truck man on fire but uh, Rob rides Carolina is a big old corn fed Carolina boy so I don't know if I can give him a hard time so just be cautious about that but anyway another subject so uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, and, but I'll put something on the screen here if, when I research it. The stock rear spring and shock on the KLR are pretty weak compared to what they should be. 
Uh, I think they're designed for a rider, a weight, or a load between 150 to 180 pounds. So that's cranking the the load on that shock to max it out at 180, 185 pounds, which is pretty much ridiculous. I think because it's not a bike for children, clearly. And. Uh, when I bought the bike, I weighed 217 pounds, so I'm already exceeding the weight, the recommended weight allowance, I guess, for that rear suspension. So I started researching a few other guys replacing the stock springs on their bike, and I went to uh, Top Gun Springs. I think that's the website. I'll link them also in the description. Uh, Rod Morris uh, is a gentleman who helped me. Sunday, I was uh, sent the, the website an email inquiring about the, uh, the springs. And this is a Sunday afternoon, I'm sorry, Sunday afternoon, and this, uh, one of the guys who works there, um, Rod, was sitting back and forth exchanging email after email with me on a Sunday afternoon. And um, clearly they know what they're doing and they want you to have the best product. He, uh, first thing he wanted to know was how many miles are on the motorcycle. And I think that's a determination um, as to whether or not my shock needs to be rebuilt along with that newer spring. And I only have right at 3,000 miles or over 3,000 miles on a KLR. So he said the only thing I need is a spring. And the uh, spring that I got is a 7.4 kg spring. And uh, it's uh, rated, I think, for 251 pounds to 300 pounds of load. And the, the, the one below that, I think, goes from 180 to 250 or 251. So you would think that, well, you know, you weigh, you don't weigh 250 pounds, so why would I go with the 7.4 when the 6, I think it's a 6.8 or the 6.2, I don't recall. Uh, well, one of the reasons is, okay, I weigh 187 pounds now. Yay, lost 30 pounds since June 9th, right on, right on. Now I did check my BMI and I'm actually in a normal weight level now. So anyway, back to the springs. So uh, I got the 7.4. So you figure this out. Figure the weight for this. So the I weigh 187 pounds, buck naked. The uh, tusk panniers and the rack system, empty, weigh 37 pounds. You figure the clothes I wear. If I have on my riding boots, jeans, a jacket, the helmet, I'm probably weighing close to 200 pounds already. So I'm already at 237 pounds. Plus, let's just say I had 17 pounds. So this is up that to 20 pounds worth of weight in the um, panniers. So I'm already up to 250 pounds. You see how quickly this weight adds up? So I'm already just right there at the, um, the, the right weight limit uh, for the uh, 7.4 kilogram shock. And you know, when I start adding other things in there, my backpack, it probably weighs between 15 to 20 pounds, depending on what I'm carrying in it. Um, if I ever go anywhere camping, and I'm gonna have more gear back there, if the wife is riding with me, so it's just gonna be a comfortable ride all the way around. It may be a little stiff if I don't have enough gear to increase the weight to 50 pounds, but now that I know that, I can add a few more things to those panniers and not worry about exceeding any weight limits unnecessarily um, and I don't know what I'm going to add but I'm not I'm not scared to add some more tools now because of the weight so you know everybody's talking about keeping the weight down but if I put this new spring on there I'll need a little bit of weight but anyway that's all I wanted to talk about today shout out to those two guys truck man on fire and Rob Rides Carolina go give them a look check out Top Gun Springs if you got any questions email them I assure you that Rod will get back with you in a matter of minutes and He'll answer all your questions, give you some advice, and he'll answer any questions that you have. So y'all take care, ride safe, enjoy the rest of the week. I'm out of here.